All right, this match review, this next one comes out from Xenocrop. Over 1k hours in the game, so a little bit past that point where you should know most of your micro and micro fundamentals in the game of Dead by Daylight. You're playing the Z-Morph, which blah, 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 number, blah, number, blah, wrote the guide, blah. Good guy to ask. TLDR. Uh, you're on Suffer Pit, which is a... Suffer Pit 2 is a little bit nicer for Xenomorph, but Suffer Pit 1 can be pretty rough, because even with your ability to deal with windows, like, there's just so many chainable tiles that it gets kind of rough. Um, but Suffer Pit 2 is pretty fine for Xenomorph. I guess it depends on which one you get, so yeah. Take a look at your add-ons your perks. Okay, so in terms of your add-ons your plates, your add-ons are pretty great. Uh, usually you run either of the turret add-ons, and Salter Struck Bolt, any combination of those three are good good picks. Doesn't matter which one, you could do Lambert, Self Destruct Bolt, Emergency Self Destruct Bolt, Double Turret to be super safe on turrets. Doesn't matter. Any combination of those three work pretty well. Um Your build's kind of I can stand by the pop pain res, strong combo. Z Morph is not really a character that synergizes well with slugging, really. It's yeah, like Running Infectious Force Tezzy would be, like, good on, like, Twins, like, Oni, Trickster, but, like, there's nothing really about Z-Morph that really synergizes well with slugging, really. Um, yeah, especially with the uh, Infectious while you're in Crawler mode, it's just kind of, like, it's not, it, it just doesn't really synergize with Z-Morph in any way more than it would any other killer, so I would switch these two out, if anything. My mental into the trash can? Mine too. I've just been exhausted. Once again, like I say, I've said in every single one of these match reviews, you don't have to wait to exactly see where people are going when you see the footstep falls in the tunnels. Because the moment you come out of the control station, you get killer instinct for 12 meters anyways. Anyways. um, So either you see where they are, with Killer Instinct, which obviously is easy peasy, or you don't see them, which means that the direction they were walking, they turned around and went the other way. <laughs> they are outside of the 12 meters. So you get info on where they're going either way, so you don't have to wait. Hey, Epid. Uh, VOD Spotlight for donation? No, I just do this just because to help people every Monday. Every Monday. Hey, Fishy. There's no match reads to help people get better at the game of Dead by Daylight. I don't like forcing people to pay money for, like, coaching or match reviews or anything like that. Eventually, I will have to do something about that because, like, you know, eventually there'll be too many reviews. I don't know where you am in there. What, are you deadlock? No. Do not know what that is, actually. I said, how are you? Hopefully you're Monday as well. Is that bit fine, by the way, or do you want me to... Sometimes people aren't cool with certain nicknames, but I need to get better about asking that. You could have shot over her there. You can shoot over survivors the same way you can shoot over, like, boxes, objects, or anything. You could just go up and over and bop them. So you could have done that there. When you're in a situation like this, even with emergency helmet, where the turret's, like, kind of at max range, it's risky to go for the lunge there. Especially like that, where you're a little bit late to notice it. Like, if it's max out, like, towards, like, closer to the max range, it's probably just safer to tail attack that. And you also lunge really late there, too. You actually probably would have got that if you had lunged. But you, you wait a long time to lunge. Okay, you're doing the wiggle. Excellent. Are right, you're doing well? I am doing well. You can shoot over the survivors because the starting point is iron the survivor hitbox. An angle, even at point, even if they're a point blank. Usually, at point blank, I have a hard time hitting it. You are also on controller, which is way harder. Yeah, maybe I I don't retract the statement because it's still true, but like on controller, vertical shots are way harder. So I, I would not worry too much about that actually. Back to that more. It's really good. It's really really helpful. Always for the sideways hit. I like doing the sideways hit just because it looks pretty. It, it looks really clean. It looks just looks nice. It's, it makes for a good clip. Doing the uh, the little sideways thing. <laughs> it's just cool. Ever committing? Yeah, you. You in general like. Yeah, like you start this chase. Yeah, you've been in this chase for a long time. 
Hey, you're, in the, you're in this chase for about two minutes there, bud. Would be way better, yeah. The problem is if, like, like that, like you were saying, like, it gets harder the closer it is to your face. Because if you don't clear the pill that's right in front of you, you're just still going to hit the top of their hitbox, like, right in front of you. So there needs to be kind of some awkward spacing going on with that, too. Oh. Yeah, your tail tag is not that long. Oh, we have to use those snoozes. There you go. Excellent. Excellent. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good amount of time to be in chase. 30 to 40 seconds. If it's more than a minute, you gotta go. If it's more than a minute, you gotta... Take an injury, take a pallet, call it a day. Yeah, they're going back for that. I'd come out here. Remember, there's a the reason I told you to come out over there that tunnel instead of back there is because there's an anti cam mechanic to use anymore. Where you crawl out twice as slow. Um when you're close to the hook like that, so. If you had popped out back there, you wouldn't have had the uh, Ooh, nice hit. Nice linger. Good job. Um, if you had done it back there, you wouldn't have had, suffered that, and you would have been able to get into that chase quicker. If you want to sit directly under a hook like that, um, the anti-camp does disappear the moment the hook is over, unlike with other characters like Singularity. So you can't just wait for the unhook, but that's a little bit time inefficient, you know? Nice. I like your option not to, like... Try to hit over the rocks there. Nice flick. On controller, too? Nice. This is what people say when they're like, I can't play Z anymore for a controller. It's too hard. That was clean. That was good. That was a clean flick, and you were on you were on controller instead. I would have smacked that. It's very easy to deal with turrets while somebody's already in your hand. Not that it matters too much. Just a minor efficiency thing, you know? The thing is, like, like people get so deterred to go for tail tax because it's easier on mouse and keyboard. But, like, horizontally, it plays out largely the same. It's just the vertical shots that are hard, like the arc shots. Yeah, you wait a little too long to come out of your tunnels. There's a minor inefficiency thing. You can hit her here. Same thing. Yeah. Same thing with like the uh, anti-body block shot. You could hit her there. Maybe if you're doing uh, the horizontal version. Well, like I said, Rapid, 30 to 40 seconds. If you're at, like, 50 seconds in a chase and you, like, you haven't even hit him yet, like, you guys already started thinking about your exit plan. A gentle push. <laughs> Just be gentle. <laughs> yeah, definitely don't let your pop wind down. You don't let your pop wind down a lot, which I appreciate. I get tired of telling people that. Spent on no burst though. Your strafes are clean too. That's what really is helping you. Like you're you're like almost exclusively going for strafes in situations unless it calls for something else. Because like that's really what you should do. There's no reason to not strafe there. Like if you, if there's no re if like there's nothing blocking you. Oh 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 you. Were, you were killing it on- like, you were probably- We're in the moment, of course. You're probably the best controller Xenomorph I've seen. Like, no joke. And this is exactly right here is why you don't have to run BAM 
with to self destruct bolt because this still sets you up for success, right? You still get this hit because you vaulted through that window so quickly, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> You're doing fine. You have two people slugged. Somebody greeting a gentleman they absolutely shouldn't. Yeah, you're probably the best controller Z Morph I've I've seen so far. We're probably trying to get Lisa out of catch her out of position here. Might be time to start hooking so you can get your pops. Potentially a pain raise to slow down the game a bit. Mm. Yeah. Mm, I don't like the idea that I don't like the choice to kick there because at this point they're not taking the bait, so I would have just hooked got pop and then kicked that gen with pop. You know? That's what I've been what I would have done. But you're you kinda Yeah, that slug did that slug didn't really end up helping you too much because you just kinda let everybody pick up. It's almost like the situation Pickle was in earlier where they were trying to like go for like a full four man slug. Ended up almost losing a kill because of it, but in this case you lost Pop uses that would have delayed the game in a good way for you. She has Lyeth. But there's not really much up here besides this very weak pallet. Ooh, almost. Almost. That's just the rock. There you go. There are people who play Zmorph on BC who don't hit these shots. Yeah, definitely you need the you need to get the most out of your pop right now. Yeah. Pick that. Yeah, I just laid it out. Yeah, you're you're getting really hosed by the Scrozer RNG. I would not wait this out. You don't really have time to. Yeah. Uh Representing the consoles, yeah, I'm doing it really, really well. Nice. Welcome to Wendy's. Here is your frosty. When I tell people that like horizontal shots theoretically play out mostly the same, that's what I'm talking about. Like, if you get good at it, like you can do like these are like almost bit for bit the same. Uh, Okay, make sure you go back and pop that. Like the same shots I would be doing. And I'm on uh I'm on PC mouse and keyboard. Yeah, you do let your pop kinda like wind down here, even though this is genuinely finished, which is not ideal. But you've been good about using it so far. Good job reading that she would fan out there, so you strafed the whole area that which she could possibly dodge. He's dead, good. The Gen Deer, right, is the one that's most progressed, so I'd pop that. You could always have a quick chase and get another pop for the other one. There you go. If they do that gen out there, that's fine, because you have a three gen up here. Although you are starting to get high on your amount of kicks over here, which is going to be uh, difficult here soon, so keep that in mind. Those are hard. In general, aiming down with the Xeomorph period is just difficult just because the tail attack is so sensitive to collision that nine times out of ten you're just going to hit the ground anyways, even if you're aiming perfectly. Somebody is on this. It's Lisa, good. Mm, you, please stay on her. Yeah, get her ditch, get a pop use. She doesn't have her sprint burst right now, so that's even better for you. Oh, sorry, the ad hit. I meant to snooze that, but I was, like, really locked in on the gameplay. My apologies, chat. Das was the main one snoozing, and Des just went to bitch. That sucks. Yeah, you're, you're smart to not leave this. That's exactly where you need to be, although I would keep a qu uh, better eye on that. I don't think it was like trying to mind game and lose them. I think they just realized that like 
happens to me all the time. It's so frustrating. I think they're trying not to leave the three gen. I think is what they're trying to do. She's on the other side of that long wall. Yeah, she's on the other side of the long wall. Be careful about dry kicking a lot when you're close to the the, the gen kick limit. Because that's going to be... um. You're going to take up what could possibly be like a pop or a pain res. Nice. Pop or a pain res with a dry kick. You know? This is still regressing, which is nice. You just probably return to the main gen. Yeah, you have... You have bolt, so... Go through. Ooh, unfortunate. Ooh, unfortunate. Yeah, the problem with that, with going for a shot like that, because I do that a lot when I'm going for, like, shots that are only possible when you position like that, is that if the survivor's paying attention, which this Laura is, she's just going to look at you and be like, oh, gee, he's about to hit me. <laughs> and, and they're going to, like, hesitate, right? Dodge. Um, so be careful about, like, rigidly positioning yourself for a shot or a snipe like that there is um perfect example of this is the bunk bedroom on larry's you can shoot through the little blanket of like the beds in there but the only way you can hit it is by doing what you just there which is like very firmly presenting yourself in the hole and then nail attacking which is very obvious it's if the surprise paying attention it's super obvious that that's what you're doing you could not be doing anything besides putting big flashing lights above your head they're like hey i'm about to tail attack you so that it doesn't end up working, so just be be careful about making it obvious when you're going for one. I think this is one of those games where, like, if you had even one more slowdown, you win this pretty firmly. Or even like two better personally and not be slow down. Like you have bam bolt instead of just bam. You like you win this game. I think they're just playing well and you're playing well, but you're not using like the best build possible. I'm just using like a fairly okay build. I don't think you're making a whole lot of mistakes. There's some minor stuff that we'll talk about, but mostly you're just kinda like you're just fit. Facing a uh, good team, and you're a good Xenomorph. Because realistically, you're not getting a whole lot of value of Infectious or uh, Force Hesitation. Dude, it's kind of like you're trying to play the game with just Pop Pain Res. Which is, uh, of course, would be really difficult in any scenario. Yeah, pay attention to that Infectious there. Yeah, don't get, don't let him pallet save with this juncture of the match. I say that, and you, you actually finally get in <laughs> Force Hesitation value the moment I say that. That's too funny. Oh, fuck. Swing out. Don't swing in, swing out. The reason that tech works is because you're swinging out of the range of the pallet drop. Swinging in, just like you said, just, or like you ended up finding out, uh, just puts you in harm's way. It is good that they're throwing to save Lisa, or they could just be doing the gen. I'd pursue them here. Yeah, I actually wouldn't pick here. I would actually pursue them here because the because like the reason you stay on the three gen is because you're sure you're not sure if anybody's like on one of the gens that you can't see yet. Like over there in like the back corner. But you know because of infectious proc for sure that they're both over there. So you know nobody is currently in your three gen. So it would actually be good to chase here. Especially Lisa, who is injured and death hook. I would actually um actually would have chased there. I would have Mindbreaker instead of Boobles. See, I've been trying to test that Calamity, but, like, Mindbreaker just... Uh, it feels like survivors that, like... Cause, because, you know, obviously, Mindbreaker tells you and it has the effect. I feel like survivors just end up playing around it most of the time. Like, they just end up, like, playing more cautious and pre-leaving and waiting out the exhaustion and then just using their exhaustion perks anyway. Like, I get why it's a good pick on Xenomorph, but, like, the more I test with it, the more I feel like it's a more of a... It's not, like, a problem with synergy with Xenomorph, it's just, like, a... Yeah, she's dead, too, so good. Um, 
It's just that, like, smart survivors play around my breaker so well that it feels so, like, annoying to bring it, almost. Like, I've gotten so much more value from bringing Bam than I have, like, Mindbreaker in any situation. Because, like, even if they do life the window, being able to shut down the window so they can't get a second vault of it is, like, been way more helpful. <laughs> Get kind of lost here. Like it does have synergy with um, Genomorph. It's just that like smart players play a lot around it pretty well. Just run Languid instead. KMD, I got less value out of Languid than I did Mindbreaker. Mindbreaker was far more consistent than Languid touch for me. Do you end up getting this person? You do. Good, good. I don't think you don't end up showing the end result screen, do you? Yeah, you don't. That's okay. Typically, I like to see that, but... Honestly, in this one, it's very, very minor mistakes, like I said. Especially for a console xenomorph, you I've played better than most console xenomorphs that I uh I've ever seen, so that's good. That's awesome. Um just your main take it takeaways are mostly minor. First off, like I said, uh, you don't have to wait to pop out of the uh control station when you start seeing the footfalls. Just pop out, just fly out of there. Because you get 12 meters of killer instinct to see are they there. And obviously if the trail meters of killer instinct did not proc, they walked the other direction. So it's still like pinpoint information on where they are. Um, you just have to think about it for like a second. <laughs> so I would not hesitate in chilling the um, patrol stations longer than you need to. Just match time to gen time. Um, second, you're the, I don't really like using perks for takeaways too much because it's like some I cover at the beginning. But realistically, infectious and force hesitation don't really do much too much for you here. There was like a couple times I was like, oh, you got that hit because she couldn't really run that much. But you probably would have got that hit in like two more seconds anyway. Um, so I definitely would not carry those into further games um, just because they don't seem to be really helping you that much. Um, I I don't really know what else to say. Like, you, besides the anti-body block shots, there are a couple times you could have used those, um, but it may be not something that you're used to yet. Obviously, on control, it's way harder to do the vertical version where you go up and over them, which is like the main way you do it. Um, you can strafe around people, sort of. It, it, it's, it's a little awkward but it's not nearly as consistent because it's not actually like, like I guess it's not as consistent. So I would try shooting around survivors when they're body blocking. Um, like I said, on controller doing the vertical one is really, really difficult. So like take it out with what you will, but maybe try to strafe around people horizontally. But other than that, you play great. Probably the best controller Z morph that I've seen. So yeah, that's pretty cool.